What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Aaliyah from the Melted Hairline Collection from Outre. I have her in the color DRFF4 backslash strawberry gold. So I'm interested to see what this looks like. Because I don't think I saw what this looked like on anybody else yet. I was looking for this color online, but I only saw the cinnamon mocha, gold and honey. And I think the hazelnut too, but I haven't seen strawberry gold yet. Or maybe I did. I can't even remember. I'm just getting on with it. So this is the wig, as you can see here. Oh, we're kind of like the same tone. So we'll see how that turns out. Already I can kind of tell this actually isn't as bad of a tangler as the other one was. So let's take a look inside this cap. So as you know, the Melted Hairline Collection is basically like a fake frontal. So it's a lace part unit with the lace edge. It has about, I would say about an inch, inch and a half, two inches of parting, um, not parting space, of a lace edge so that you can kind of give that fake frontal appeal and push the edges back, stuff like that. Um, so it's got the two combs on the sides. It does have the elastic band and it does have the comb in the back. And then it is a scratcher scalp cap construction. This is the lace tone. It looks like it's gonna match up pretty well with my skin tone. It doesn't have those same hues of green I feel that I saw in the other wig. Um, can't even think of the name. I'm not gonna spend no time on it though. But it doesn't have those same hues of green. This actually looks a lot more like golden brownish. This is kind of what it looks like without touching it. I didn't even take this part off yet. Don't mind this. But yeah, so this is what it looks like without like me doing anything to it yet because you know I'm gonna pluck this hairline. I can say right now the cap feels a little bit tight, but I think that has more to do with the fact that I have not cut the lace off yet. I think I'll feel differently and I'll come back and let y'all know, but I think I'll feel differently once the lace is cut about um, the tightness of the cap. I'm gonna have to see if I'm gonna have to switch to a black wig cap or not, or maybe I can pull this up far enough to make it make sense. But um, I would definitely say this is a really nice natural hairline though. I am going to, you know, add some dip and groove in the hairline a little bit. But, you know, as far as the thinning goes, as you can see, it's very thin and gradient. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wear a black wig cap. Part of the packaging, it does have baby hair, but like looking at this wig, like you see how it just blends in with the hair if you don't want it out? That's what I like. Like make that baby hair optional because everybody don't always want baby hair. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm gonna go customize this real quick. Come right back and give y'all the rest of my thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And uh, stay tuned to the end of the video because you might have got the comment shout out. You never know. this unit um first off let me say i'm not too much of a fan of how this color looks on me i might like it more when i play this back but as of right now looking at it in my monitor i'm not feeling it so much it's not terrible but i'm not you know i'm just not really feeling it i feel like it clashes with my skin tone a little bit but i will say like in the mirror in person i do like it more than when i'm seeing it in my monitor so maybe i feel different when i play this back the hairline definitely melts. It's not completely seamless to where you don't have to do any work. I did have to kind of blend it just a little bit, but it wasn't a whole lot of work at all. Definitely 
beginner friendly for sure. And it was fairly easy to style. Even plucking this, it didn't take me but like maybe three to five minutes to just kind of pluck it out. Cause I didn't really go in and do it. I just kind of, you know, pulled out some hairs in the front so the hairline wasn't like straight. So it was easy to add baby hairs if you want to, you don't have to. I did add just a little bit of touches of baby hair, but nothing major just to add, you know, some little, little specks here and there. I would definitely recommend wearing a black wig cap with this because of the way how gradient and see through the hairline is. It's so much more like seamless when you have a black wig cap on. Just like with Catalina, this hair is definitely on the thinner, more natural side, which I actually really like. Um, about these units is on the thinner, thinner side, but like not too thin to where it looks like limp and just flat to your head. I hate when wigs are just like limp and flat to my head. So like my sides are coming up a little bit, so don't pay much attention to me there. But this does definitely cover ear to ear for sure. Um, I do have just a tiny bit of specks of hair out, but nothing more than what I would typically have when a wig fits me, so that's great. The fibers of this hair are definitely on the silkier side. It does have like a tad touch of like coarse to it. But even with it being on the silkier side, it the way the hair actually looks, it looks very much so like a virgin hair dupe. I didn't have any real issues with the shedding. I do get some hairs out. Um, let me see if I can get one out. I'm not trying to get one out, but like, let me see if one comes out. Yeah, like just a few strands might come out when you're running your hands through it, but you're not getting gobs and gobs of shedding. Well, at least I'm not. And even though it does not tangle as bad as Catalina, it does still tangle, so be on the lookout for that. The color is actually starting to grow a little bit on me as I'm wearing it on camera, so I don't know, maybe I do like it. As far as the cap size and how it fits now that I've cut the lace off and put it on, it definitely, it fits, fits. Like, this fits my head pretty on point, so I would definitely say if you have a larger head, you will probably have to adjust this to fit a little better. If you have a smaller head, you'll probably have to adjust it to fit a little tighter, because on me, this fits pretty much like on point. Comment shout out in this video goes to Erica J. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel and supporting my channel. It does not go unnoticed. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, if you would like to pick up this unit, it'll be linked down in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.